What's up, YouTube family? It's Natalie. It's Hotshot Adventures, and I'm still smiling. What can I say? Um, I'm home. I, um, I'm looking forward to going out on the road uh, next week. Hopefully next week, right? Everything, um, everybody's great. Eddie is, God, he's phenomenal. He is just a beast. Eddie, I love you, Eddie, and his beautiful lady, Jessie. Um, they are just incredible. Jessie tagged along with him the last couple days. Uh, it was just really nice to to be able to um, see them interact. She's a CDL holder as well. So um, really cool that they got to take a trip from Texas to Florida. And uh, they're almost back now. Um, but anyways, and Tierra is killing it, you guys. Oh, my gosh. We So <laughs> Andy threw this customer to me, right? <laughs> so I'm just going to tell you this side story, and then I'll get into this video. Andy threw this this customer to me. And he said, hey, this, you know, this customer, um, this dealership has uh, four. They have a total of eight, but four already now. These Ram 4500s going from Northern California to uh, Southern Washington. And um, Andy's uh, kind of rerouted. He's changed direction. So he's not doing hot shot right now. And so he passed the customer on to me. Right. So I tell Tierra, OK, go over there, you know, pick up these two trucks. We'll do two up and backs. Um, and we'll do two at a time. So she shows up and she's like, I don't think they're going to fit on the PJ. And I'm like, well, measure it, right? Measure it. And so she she tries to roll the second one on and the rear wheels of the truck get about five feet up the 10 feet ramps. So it's only hanging off five feet. And um, she's, I'm like, oh, shit, you know? So, so I call Andy. I'm like, Andy, help me be my savior. Andy has, um, he's got a 40 foot, um, you know, uh, trailer like ours. And, uh, but he's also got a three car wedge. And I was like, Andy, let me borrow your wedge. <laughs> so I told Tierra, go to Andy's house, 200 miles away. Not, you know, like right down the street, but I said, go to, go to Andy's house and he's going to help you, you know, um, hook up to his wedge and he's going to let us borrow his wedge for the week. And so she's like, okay. I mean, this lady, she has not, she, before she came to me, she drove big rigs forever. Right. But before she came to me, um, she had never done any hot shot, done any car hauling, done anything like that. Um, she'd done tankers and flatbeds and all kinds of other equipment. So she was familiar with load securement and stuff like that. But um, when we went and did our couple days training, you know, that was really her first time that she ever uh, hauled a car. And so <laughs> she has just blossomed. It is just phenomenal. She hooked up to that wedge. You wouldn't believe it. She was back at that dealership loading up those two trucks and she hauled there all over the mountains and up to Washington. She's already come back down. She's actually going to load the second set of trucks right now and uh, go up again for another round. And she just is such a joy to work with. I am so blessed. Um, you know, she's just phenomenal. And she hooked up to that wedge. She's like, I like this trailer. This is, this is cool. I'm like, it's not too tall for you. You know, it's kind of the old school ones. That's really, um, kind of high, you know, and round 4,500 cabin chassis are not like, you know, it's not like a baby truck back there. She had two big beefy trucks back there. She's like, no, it was great. It handles great. You know? So Andy, thank you again. Um, and I'll get you your trailer back soon. <laughs> so long as Tierra lets me give it back to you. I don't know. She likes it. She might keep it. No. So you're going to see a video. Eddie is selling his PJ. He bought a new PJ. Um, Eddie bought this PJ sight unseen. It's uh, two years old. It's got um, two uh, 8,000 pound axles. It's got a GVWR. It's been uprated. So it's got a GVWR of 18,000 pounds. It could easily be derated for a non CDL hotshot rig. So for anybody that's interested or looking for a trailer like this, you guys, the PJ is for sale. No, not my PJ. Eddie's PJ is actually for sale. Eddie went out and bought. Um, uh, just a, a, a way more badass PJ. This is more kind of your standard PJ, uh, so to speak. So, you know, um, but it's a very, it's a very good trailer. Grease, uh, not oil bath. Like I said, 8,000 pound axles. It's got new tires on it. It's got a spare. I'll even throw in, I've got a ton of extra load securement slightly used. I'll throw in some straps and some ratchets for you guys. Um, and we'll throw them in that trailer. If anybody is interested in this trailer, please uh, get a hold of Eddie. Um, his cell phone number will be somewhere around here. Um, but get a hold of him. It, like I said, it's two years old, 8,000 pound axles, new tires. Eddie and I personally did a brake inspection and adjustment on this trailer very recently. All the lights work, all the wiring works, all the boards are good. Um, anything that you know was like a little ding or anything, everything got fixed. The trailer was not bounced around. Eddie has had his CDL for like 20 years forever and um, he's taking good care of it, but he bought it sight unseen and um, he ended up wanting to get something fancier. What can we say? And that usually happens when you just start 
hot shot. Um, you buy what you think is going to work for you. And sometimes um, you end up wanting to upgrade. And that's very common. A lot of my Patreons, Jefferson is one of them. Um, a lot of my Patreons, you know, you buy your first trailer and then you're like, oh, I like this better. I want this better. I like what he can do with that trailer, da, 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 you know, and it, it happens with probably any type of transportation um, just because it happens. You start running and you get more experience and you get on the road and you're like, no, I don't like the way this works. I would prefer this. I would like that. Da, da, da. So anyways, so Eddie went out and bought him a brand new 2024 big old PJ and um, he's got this PJ for sale. So if you guys have any interest, give him a call. Um, it's out of Beaumont, Texas, but Either one of us will get it to you if you are somewhere else in the country. I will personally put my stamp of approval on this trailer. It's a good trailer. It's a solid trailer. It's not been dinged up. She she tracks true. She's straight as an arrow. Um, there's no cracks in any welding. There's no there's nothing. Okay, this is a good solid trailer. Everything works on it. New new breakaway battery box. I mean, you know the trailer is slightly used because I think it is two years old, but it's a solid trailer so like i said it's out of beaumont texas and i'm saying you guys if you can't find the trailer or if you like this price better because trailers are still very very expensive um it's definitely a, a good trailer to put your hands on and again i'll put my stamp on approve stamp of approval on this trailer for sure so you guys check out this video and we'll run through the details and call eddie if you need it okay here it is you guys this is that pj um we do have the goose neck uh attachment but eddie removed it for security purposes right so you see it there nice big storage box okay it's got a it's got a new breakaway battery uh box it's got a new pigtail it's uh originally from nationwide trailers and here's somewhere is the sticker it can be changed from gooseneck or to, uh, it can be easily changed to a fifth wheel. So there is the GVWR 18,000 pounds. That tells you all the specs. The uh, trailer weighs about 7,000 pounds. It's dirty, you know, it always gets dirty, but that's not rust, that's just dirt. It's got um, hazmat placards if you guys need those. It's got uh, that big old, big old, nice storage box. I love a big storage box. Um, Eddie's cleaned it out. Very, very nice. And again, you guys, um, this trailer is out of Beaumont, Texas. Um, he's got the keys to it, so you can lock that truck, uh, excuse me, lock that box up. It's got the steps on it. All of the lights work. The deck was um, stained. Um, it could probably get stained again, I guess, in the fall. That's normally when I do my staining is in the fall before the, uh, before the winter comes. It's got that um, stabilization, whatever that stuff is down there. Really nice. Um, it's got good leaf springs on it. It's got good brakes on it. It's got new 14 ply tires on it. It is a low profile trailer. So you see the, the tires are kind of tucked up inside there. You see that kind of like little, um, thing there that's, that's considered like a low profile trailer. It doesn't sit too high. It does have the mega ramps for my guys out there that love the mega ramps. Um, it's got new, um, equalizers eddie had the equalizers replaced about maybe two months ago it's got those nice mega ramps monster ramps whatever they call in them um, they do lock up in the upright position okay so you can have them at the 90 degree angle or you can have them completely closed eddie added some nice stickers there caution wide turns and let's flip over to the other side here like i said sixteen thousand dollars or best offer you know give eddie a call um I'm sure, you know, he, he's a more than fair guy. He'll work with you guys. He wants to get rid of it, but also he knows what he's got. So, I mean, don't, don't go to him with, you know, $11,000 or something. Um, like I said, new tires, look at that good tread. You don't see, you see those equalizers are, are, are nice in good condition. You can see that under the trailer, very, very good condition. So like I said, you guys, $16,000 uh, or best offer. Uh, and it is in Beaumont, but we'll get it to you if you're somewhere else. We'll figure it out. We'll work it out. It's, you know, it's hot shot love. We'll figure it out. We'll get you your trailer. And, um, you know, I think it's a more than fair price. I think it's a more than fair, uh, good quality trailer. And again, it says something when you can call the owner who had the trailer and who actually ran the trailer. And you can say, hey, what about this? Or when was the last time you replaced that? And you can get your questions answered. When you go and buy take it from me when you go and buy a used trailer from a dealership they have no idea when the trailer was serviced and they cannot point you in any different direction um, but when you buy it from somebody personally it it really makes a huge difference uh, so you guys be safe out there and I hope to see you soon